Europeans have read it. What do Americans have every day that you see as a luxury? Space. America is fucking enormous. The size of your homes in places like Utah and Texas. There's a dedicated room for everything. Kids' playroom that isn't the living room or the kids' bedroom, walk-in pantry room, a laundry room. Free refills. Extensive national parks. The massive houses, a special room just for your massive washer and dryer units, two-car garage, basically you have tons of space. Air conditioning. Americans pump it all summer long. Space, room, land. Spacious hallways, corridors and homes in general, dedicated laundry rooms not a washing machine in the kitchen, apartment complex pools and the regular washing of the windows of high-rise buildings it's infrequent in Europe. The space. Backyards. I'd plant so many vegetables. Huge schools with labs and gyms and theatres. Big kitchens and big refrigerators freezers. Even in my student apartment, we had a pretty good-sized kitchen. I was dating a Czech girl and her parents came to visit. When they went to my apartment for a dinner, the mom was just amazed at the size of my fridge. They were amused when I dumped the scraps in the sink and turned on the garbage disposal. They'd heard about it but had never seen one. The backyards and front yards. The size of the garages. The huge living rooms. The two most peaceful neighbors ever. Free use of bathrooms. Disability access everywhere. I can go to any place theater, store, office, school, whatever with confidence that I'll be able to navigate fine in my wheelchair. They'll have ramps and or elevators. Ice makers in the freezer? Handicap accessibility. I required the use of a wheelchair for a few years. During that time, we visited Spain and Italy. It was an absolute nightmare trying to navigate public spaces. My husband made sure that our apartment in Rome had an elevator as it was on the third floor. However when we arrived, we discovered that there was two flights of stairs in order to access the elevator. We managed, but it was a very difficult trip for us. Free public toilets. American here visiting Germany right now. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say fuel cost. The station down the road here sell petrol for 1.75 euro litre, that's about 7.20 gallon if my math is correct. For comparison, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and just paid 2.85 per gallon last week which is about 0.75 euro litre. Gas is even cheaper than that in the Midwest US. Air conditioners, it's hot here in Spain edit in referring row the type of AC that is like whole house AC. I have a window AC and yeah everyone has those. But I haven't seen many centralized AC units where I am. Should have been more specific sorry. There seems to be more nature in the US. I'm surprised no one has mentioned a nice shower. Not everywhere in Europe is the same, but far too often showering is a chore instead of a relaxing experience. Salaries. Not European, but my friends abroad are all flabbergasted by the salaries here. Steak is way cheaper in USA. Ample parking day and nightmare. For me, it's three things how spacious everything is like homes, roads, parks, etc. The low level of population density how cheap gas and cars are. I'm the American, but my British friend is envious of the plethora of big-name anime conventions with big guests who are relatively easy to meet. Their streets are always so wide. But here in Dieldorf, I know many little streets where I have to vanish into a parking space when I'm on my bike and a car wants to pass, because otherwise, they physically can't. Money. Immersions will swear up and down how poor they are, but they have much higher purchasing power. Whatever they'll want to buy it'll always mean less to them than other people. Of course in terms of international products like electronics, cars, 
trips, any luxuries, fandom merch, event tickets etc. I don't mean things like food or rent which always depend on the location. The National Parks, Access to Hunting, and AC. Distance to Russia. Europeans cannot comprehend how much better American vented clothes dryers are. There is a reason nobody in the US line dries their clothes. American dryers dry everything perfectly on low temperature, unlike ventless dryers which just kinda heat the clothes up. The dryer in the average American home is better than the ones in Europeans' laundromats. American here, but I've heard that they don't have garbage disposals in their sinks over there. I use mine every day and can't imagine life without it. Fresh air. It's illegal to smoke in restaurants for example. Free refills at restaurants. Surprised no one's mentioned the easy access to high-quality drugs. Of course, that's a double-edged sword. Their high salaries and low taxes. Tons of bathrooms. My two-bedroom apartment has just one of those. One of these days my roommate will get the flu and I won't be able to escape it. Americans have big vehicles. Cheap benzene. Please Americans, stop complaining about a gas price that really is not that expensive if you compare it to here. Free water in restaurants. Proximity to the Caribbean and Latin America cheaper flights. Just driving up to the curb and parking without first circling around the block ten times, and then finally parallel park barely squeezing between the bumpers of two other cars. OP Europeans of Reddit Americans I'm not European, but I'd say. Parking lots with wide parking spaces. Cheap gas. The audacity. Probably not luxury, but I feel like it's easier to get rich but also higher risk to become very poor homeless. Everything seems a bit more extreme than it does here. Correct me if I'm wrong.